We are out here at the farm again and we have really good news that we wanted to tell you. When we were out here at the farm last, we bumped into one of my uncle's friends, someone that we have never met before, and he was talking to us about old vehicles because he saw the Cortez and he apparently had tons of old vehicles yep. and they all had chokes. So he was asking us, have we mastered the choke yet? And we were like, oh yeah, <laughs> no. We, we forgot. <laughs> so when we got it, um, obviously there was the issue with the, the start motor um, and then we did the brakes and we've had other jobs that we've been working his way through and every time we've just jumped in it and <laughs> get a squirt a starter fluid and gone we really need to fix how this starts. <laughs> Still need the easy start to yep, get it going. that's our next project. Rusty starter spray. <laughs> this is in case it doesn't start again. Do I give it gas or now or Just now? Just does it down. Just leave it like that. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. Right, you ready? Yeah. Is your foot on the gas a bit? Yeah. Right, okay. See if we can get it started. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should have known that was going to happen. Okay. Ooh. What was that? Uh, the sli starter fluid exploded. Uh, where's that starter fluid? Every time? No. Your dad says that they rely on it. So how do you get it to wean off of it? Just a bit of persistence. Come on. Come on. And then Arthur's like, have you used the chuck? And I was like, I wonder if that's why it doesn't start for itself. <laughs> so anyway, the choke cable um, is really stiff. So we're going to look into that and see if we can get it sorted out. So we will go inside and we will tell you what we learned. So that's our choke cable. Um, and actually I misunderstood what you were supposed to use a choke for. I always was under the impression that you just used it when it was cold outside, like in winter time. Um, but you actually use it when the engine's cold, not when the ambient temperature's cold. So now we're just going to show you quickly how to do it. So with the engine off and everything, no key in, you just pull the uh, choke cable out. So that's our choke closed. So what that does, it obviously restricts the airflow into the engine when you're firing it up. So now that that's done, we should, fingers crossed, be able to get the engine to fire up with a simple turn of a key and a bit of gas. <laughs> so let's see. Super loud because the engine cover is not on. But now it's up and running. You just have a look at the engine. So now that's up and running and it'll just warm up normally by itself and we can drive it straight away. Now that we have figured out the choke, we are ditching this starter fluid and instead we are turning to WD-40. So our choke mechanism has seized and that's where we decided to use WD-40 to just loosen it. Um, so we will show you where we've been spraying it. I'm gonna spray this choke mechanism with WD-40. What are you doing, Andrew? I'm opening and closing the uh, choke valve. And while you're doing that... And while I'm doing that, you're going to spray the other end of the choke cable. And that is getting our choke mechanism nice and free moving. We hope that helped anybody that didn't quite understand how a choke worked on their vehicle. Obviously, we're not old enough to have driven any vehicles <laughs> with a choke. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, please let us know. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. We're all at Soul of a Seeker and we would absolutely love it. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. When we were laughing, it was fun, fun, fun. Oh, it was fun. Now that we have figured out the choke, we... <laughs> you get that choke. <laughs> okay.
Okay, okay. You get that joke. Okay, come on.